Hello again, and welcome to another edition of Hashtag Now Smoking with me, Gary Korb, your host from CigarAdvisor.com. Today, I'm going to be smoking the Robert Peel, the Sir Robert Peel from Protocol Cigars. This is the natural. It's made in two blends, natural and Maduro. We've got the natural here. And joining me today is Kong Pham, who is one of the buyers at FamousSmoke.com, Famous-Smoke.com, yes. I should say. Thanks for having and, me. And um, Kong, what, what, what cigars do you, you, you buy for uh, the Famous? Uh, the, brands, the brands that I buy for Famous is, uh, it ranges from Fuente to Drew Estate, um, you know, uh, Ashen. Mm -hmm. Just a whole slew of, of brands, AJ Fernandez. Right. right. So, so basically, um, uh, you know, it's it's the major brands plus a lot of the uh, boutique brands as well. Okay, cool. So anyway, we're going to be smoking this Robert Peel. All right. And it is by Protocol. This is the. Um, it's made in a box press Toro. And it's beautiful. We have yours right here. All right. <laughs> okay. Check this out. And uh, let's see, uh, well, it feels pretty good. Um, it has a beautiful silk band at the bottom of the foot, protect the foot, yeah. things like that. It has a picture of Sir Robert Peel. I like the shape middle. of it. How, how I do too. It's, it's oval, so yes. I, I can tell that this is gonna uh, yeah. feel nice. You know. mm -hmm. I like this too, and um, by the way, um, Kong used to own a retail cigar store, so yeah. he's not just a buyer, I mean, he really knows this stuff. I do and, love cigars. Um, yeah, he really does. So I'm going to take off the silk foot band. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> and um, it feels really good. The cap, it looks like a triple seam. It's made at um, Eric Espinosa's La Zona factory. He does all the cigars for protocol. Right. And let's see, I'm going to cut it with my, there you go, double blade. Let's see what the pre-light's like. Oh. Getting a little, like, a little salty. Yeah. Salty, woody kind of thing. A hint of pepper. Really? A hint okay. of white pepper. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting, because I'm not getting any pepper, but let's light her up. I know, let's do it. <laughs> It's really well rolled, I'll tell you that. And the wrapper has a nice color too. It's uh, even in color. I mean, they've been doing a pretty good job with the protocol. And I, you know what? I love the guys at Protocol. Juan and, uh, and Bill Ives. Bill, yeah. Now, why did they choose the name Sir Robert Peel? Well, Sir Robert Peel, according to my notes here, was the uh, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom and twice its Home Secretary, mm -hmm. and he founded the Metropolitan Police Service in 1829. He set up their headquarters oh. in Scotland Yard. That's so that's crazy. where you get Scotland Yard. You know what? Yeah. That makes sense because <laughs> the two guys, mm -hmm. uh, Juan and Bill, mm -hmm. are also police officers. That is correct. And all of their cigars, revolve around some kind of police uh, jargon or right, something. Yeah. You know? What you are know, you getting so far? I'm, I'm getting cedar. I'm getting cedar notes. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's kind of woody. And um, I'm getting a little bit of pepper. Yeah. A little bit of pepper. Yeah, through I'm the nose. Up, yeah, I'm it's picking up that pepper. But mm -hmm. I just retrohaled, and that flavor really comes through, through the retro. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, and this is... Um, it's really easy to retro as well. Yeah, it wasn't very, it so, didn't really so, sting. Right, and it's, it's, not, uh, it's not overpowering. No. It is, uh, I, I would say, mild medium for, for right now. Okay, I would agree with you on there. So, we're gonna smoke it down to about an inch and we'll take it from there. All right, we're down to the first inch. We're well into that, what I call the first act and I got a really nice firm ash here. And um, how about you, Mr. Khan? Well, you know, the, so far it has been really, really nice. Yeah. Uh, the, it's super creamy, mm -hmm. uh, nice and cedary. 
Yeah. And it's not overpowering, which no. is what I like. This is a great morning cigar with coffee. I would agree, and that's what we're doing. Um, I'm getting a really good burn. We were talking during the break that the burn was getting a little a little strange because it was following up one of the veins. Yeah. And that's kind of yeah. interesting. I, I didn't even know that. Yeah, um, but my, but mine is leveling out now. Yeah, and so was mine. Yeah. So very good construction. Let's talk a little bit about the cigar. This is only offered in one size, a Toro box press. Uh, it's a 6x52. Um, it has Nicaraguan binder and filler, and the version we're smoking today, which is the natural, has an Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper, and I love Rosado wrappers. Mm -hmm. I really do. And the uh, Broadleaf Maduro, which is the other version of the cigar, is a Pennsylvania wrapper. I love that, too. You do? I'm, yeah. I'm not the biggest fan of Pennsylvania, yeah. but this tastes really good, and I hear this is selling like crazy. Mm -hmm. I heard when the boxes first came in, they, they sold out like within a day. Yeah. Something like Nikki was telling me. It's crazy. Um, so we talked a little bit about um, Robert Peel. Um, I just want to also mention that these come in 10-count boxes, as you can see. Um, so they're like kind of like limited edition, I guess. Yeah. You know, and they 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 they're, they usually do it that way. They they don't go crazy with um, uh, you know their boxes. They don't do twenties and right. stuff like that a lot. They and, do like know, tens. It, yeah, you know? it makes it really approachable to mm -hmm. to purchase. Um, yeah. you know. And uh, instead of like those 20 and 50 count boxes, mm -hmm. you really have to put out a lot. To yeah, the and, and the actual company uh, that owns Protocol, or the brand, I should say, is Cubariqueño. Cubariqueño, which is kind of a mix between Cuba and Puerto Rico. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Juan Cancel, who is one of the uh, co-founders, is Puerto Rican. Right. And, um, and Cubariqueño Cigar has incorporated themes from law enforcement into its cigar lines, and this company started by Bill Ives and, as I just mentioned, Juan Cancel, both of whom are police officers, which you pointed out. Uh, Juan says, we left no stone unturned for this release. Both cigars are smoking phenomenal, and we took the packing up to the next level. Okay. Yeah, well, that's I, well packed. I, I think they did. <laughs> yeah, no, they it's really, really job. nice. I'd say this is probably the most... Um, um, I guess refined or upmarket cigar that they've done, and it really has that nice look to it too. But really, I like all of their cigars. Yeah, I've reviewed most of them, and they are pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Eric Espinosa makes it for them at La Zona, and um, of course he does great stuff. Yeah. The retro is just fantastic on this one. Is it? Yeah. You yeah. like to do that? I love to. Do that. <laughs> I, to to me, that's where all the flavor is. Oh, that's it's delicious. really really creamy yeah. and and kind of sweet, which I like. You know, I like sweetness. Now, let's see if I take a swig of coffee. It's coffee, it's not vodka. Yeah, the retro hail, you know, it's spicy, but it's not, you know, like... Ugh. Yeah, it's not overpowered. Yeah. Let's see, yeah, it's good with the coffee. Oh, yeah. Really good. So, anyway, the wrapper is has a nice uh, oiliness to it. And it's not cracking, it's holding up really well. It's, um, I really like, um, this looks like one of those old time cigars, you yeah. know, with, with, with Robert Peel's face, you know. <laughs> Did, didn't, didn't Henry Clay do that one time? You know, back in the day, it kind of reminds me of that, you know. The this, old cigars where they would put senators and, you know, judges and We stuff. should be wearing white gloves. Yeah. <laughs> Now this the, thing, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. The, the, the shape of the cigar, like I said earlier, it's mm -hmm. oval, uh, but I guess it's considered a box press. Yeah. But, but it, it does, has a nice mouth feel to it. It does. I think they call it like a soft press. Yeah. Or that, but I like it with the rounded edges too. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, the draw is excellent. Uh, the flavors are well balanced. Yeah. Burns beautifully. It's really, yeah. I mean, you know, I, it's funny because, you know, when, this cigar was kind of hype to me, and I said, oh, please, you know, because then my expectations, but I tell you, yeah. it's really good. Well, it's I, really I, good. I've, been, I've been dying to try one of these for the longest time. Me too, time. yeah. So uh, thank you for having mm -hmm. me on here. Sure. A nice volume of smoke, you know, it's dense, chewy, um, it's, it's so creamy. You know, there's yeah. just a, like a nice little bit of spice like on the finish, right? Are you yeah. getting that? But, but I would say that the finish is mm -hmm. uh, is a short finish. Really? Because the flavor just leaves your mouth right away, mm. and it makes you want to come back for more. It makes you want to keep mm. smoking. 
it's almost like a session beer. You just okay. want to keep going after. Mm -hmm. Well, I think they did a really good job. I mean, uh, I think the cigar retails for something like $12. That's the retail price. But at famous-smoke.com, you won't pay that. <laughs> It's the MSRP, but I'll tell you, it's definitely up there in that category. I mean, you know, it's, I mean, you're getting what, like six by 52. Yeah. It's box press. It is excellent blend. You got a beautiful wrapper on it. I mean, I can see, you know, I can see it, you know, um, it's be up in the, in the upmarket, you know, $11, $12 range. Right. And, um, I'm looking forward to trying this with an IPA. Okay, you're a beer guy? Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm not. I never really got into beer. Well, what would you try this with? Well, I'd like to have this with, um, I'll tell you, I like, I like rum. I'm kind of getting into bourbon a little bit, but I'd like to try this with a, with a good rum or maybe even a daiquiri, or something like that, oh, like a mixed drink. That's interesting. I like to, I, all of a sudden I've got to think of daiquiris. <laughs> but... I really have coffee most of the time with my, with my cigars, you know. Um, I think that goes well with anything. It really does. Yeah. Just really about does. any cigar. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you can miss with coffee. I mean, you know, this, I mean, if you, if you know, you are a coffee person, I, I usually suggest espresso, especially with this cigar, which is a little on the sweet side, so if you wanted to kind of balance it out. Yeah. But you say an IPA. Now, is that, is that a strong, you know, are they usually strong uh, in it, it, flavor? It can be, but basically uh, an IPA is just a, 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 a hoppier flavored kind of beer. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of hops to it. Um, yeah. And I think with that, with that uh, bitterness of the mm -hmm. hops uh, and the, the contrast of the sweetness of this cigar will balance itself out really okay. nicely. All right, so I, I get that. Um, you know, I tell you, a lot of times I'll just even have my usual, which is vodka and tonic, oh, yeah. some lime juice. Yeah. But what I like about that is it doesn't really enhance the cigar so much as it, it kind of keeps your palate clean. Yeah. yeah okay. So you know, with the the, uh, the tonic and the lime juice. So you know, I think that would go well too. And then also something. enough vodka to make anything taste good. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so far, so good. So far, so great. Yeah, it's really, really, really nice. And I like it when a cigar lives up to its reputation. Yeah. You know? Oh. And they really, really did a good job on this, I'll tell you. All right, I'm getting, I'm getting like a lot of, um, a little bit like nuttiness, some sweet tobacco, and um, some, uh, it's definitely still a little woody. How about you? Yeah. Like, I'm, just I'm, about even, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, just about even. I'm I'm getting a lot of that, that wood flavor that you, yeah. that you mentioned, and that stays with you from the beginning until till now. Yeah. Uh, but it's 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 picking up for me. Uh, mm -hmm. The the intensity is picking up. Uh, I'm getting more pepper, white okay. pepper, mm -hmm. and uh, the the creaminess is still there, which is nice. Yeah, that's what I like. Yeah. Like when you take the cigar out of your mouth and that smoke is hanging in there, yeah. it's just like ah. Tastes really good. All right, well, so far the first act has been really good. Let's see what happens in act two. All right, we're ready for act two. It's uh, Gary Corey here from CigarAdvisor.com with the amazing Kong, and we are smoking the Robert Peel. Sir Robert Peel, I keep saying Robert Peel. It's Sir Robert Sir Peel. We should, Robert we should give Peel. him the respect yes. he deserves, don't you? The father of <laughs> modern policing. That's right, from uh, Cuba Riqueño Cigar Company and or protocol actually and i am getting another great ash yeah. and i gotta tell you we're kind of taking our time with this cigar because it's i'm not really i'm smoking good. the heck out of this but well, you're a little bit ahead of me but i'm just you know i just wanted to get that ash off there and we're yeah you're a little bit ahead of me you're a little closer to the band but i gotta tell you this thing has been absolutely delicious mm -hmm. it's, it's actually getting better you know what? It's funny you should say that because, you know, Cigar Advisor, we did a um, we did a tasting guide on Espinosa cigars. Yeah. Okay, just Espinosa. We didn't include Protocol. And um, 
there were several cigars where I, I, I actually said in my comments, you know, I, the more I smoked it, the more I liked yeah. it. It actually got better. And, and I think this is one of those too. It's just, just really, really tasty. And it's been very consistent as well, you know? And I like that too. I like consistency. Well, it's reached that point where I have to take the band off or else I'm going to be smoking the band. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Man, what a volume of smoke and just really creamy. And I'll tell you, you know, it's a double band. Oh, really? Look at yeah. that. Ah, okay. Well, I think maybe I'll take mine off too. We're getting out of the you're getting close. You know what's weird is I am picking up some Cuban tobacco flavor. Okay. You know, it's got that hint of um, uh, Cuban tobacco in it. Yeah, I would say that. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of, you know, like kind of like a floral kind of a thing or... Um, really earthy. Yeah. yeah it's, getting, it's getting earthy. Uh, the, the woodsy flavor is still there. The creaminess is still there but the flavor has intensified. Almost like a crescendo. Mm. I, would, I would almost agree with that. Um, it's just really, you know, sometimes I get, you know, when I do these reviews, I get to a point where I don't know what to say anymore. You know, it's just, I'm just enjoying it so yeah. much. <laughs> I don't even want to say anything, you know, I just want to just enjoy it and forget about, you know. But, um, just loads of smoke. It does really, uh, it, it is getting more intense. I said we're more like into the medium plus or maybe even like the full range, wouldn't you say? Medium, I, medium plus. It's still burning beautifully. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. There have been no relights, no touch ups. Right. Um, and you know, I think it's also burning longer because box press cigars tend to do that. I think towards the end, mm -hmm. where the box press shape is more prevalent, mm -hmm. you think that intensifies the flavor? Well, I know when you know you box press a cigar, it pushes any any extra air in there yeah. out, which tends to you know make it burn. I think a little longer too. But yeah, you know, I've never thought about that. Uh, I'd have to see what happens with this one. But yeah, it is definitely a little more square at the end, but it's actually, at this point, it's almost losing its shape, becoming a Parejo. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine, you know. The ash is nice and gray. It's got a Cuban-like ash, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, I've, I've, you know, I mean, I haven't had a lot of Cuban cigars, and the, the, the ones I've had have kind of been like the same ones I just keep running into. Yeah. Um, have you had a lot of Cuban cigars? Uh, not a lot. You know, when, when I used to travel a lot, mm -hmm. I, I, I would pick up a few uh, uh, on the road and, and uh, you know, I enjoy them. It's, it's definitely a unique, unique flavor that you can't get anywhere else. That's uh, true. They really, really are yeah. but, a, uh, a good one. Right. It's really in a class right. by itself. But I, I, I think I get what you're saying. You know, I've had um, some of the Cubans that I've had have been like the Romeo... Y. Churchill, which I really like a lot. Yeah. This is a little similar to that. Um, actually, this reminds me, if you're going to compare it to a Cuban, more of like the Hoyo de Monterey Epicure number two. Oh, nice. Which is yeah. a little spicier. Yeah. This, is, uh, this is getting a little spicy on mm -hmm. me now. What about you? Uh, to me, this is, uh, this is in line, if I were to compare, a, uh, like a Monty number three. Really? All right. yeah. I haven't had that, but okay. That's what it reminds me. Okay. Would you say we've reached the sweet spot? <laughs> I would say I hit the, the sweet spot about five minutes ago, and it's still going on right now. So I could imagine it's, it's going to mm -hmm. get even more intense. Yeah. Would you say it's complex? Yes, I, I definitely say that. It, it, it has changed mm -hmm. from the beginning to where we are now. You know, you, in the beginning, you got that floral, creamy, woodsy, mm -hmm. and then it changed, it progressed, and it mm -hmm. intensifies, and, you know, it, it, it it's, uh, keeps you interested. Yeah, that's how I usually put it, too. Yeah. I kept me interested. Yeah. You, know? <laughs> you want to see what's going to happen next, you know? This is definitely not a one-dimensional cigar. No, not at all. I mean, they really... 
got this right. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think this is the best protocol I've had. And they've all been pretty good, but this one really, yeah, this one's they excellent. really did a great job yeah. on it. You know, Eric does a good job. Well, yeah, he does, you know. He does a lot of, um, he does a lot of oddball things too, you know, like the, you know, I don't, I don't know if that's the right way to say it. I don't mean that in a negative way. Yeah. But he does like the wasabi. The wasabi. And um, some people love that. Yeah, I had it the other day yeah. for the review, uh, you know, for the tasting guide. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, um, it's unusual because it has a clara wrapper, you know, the candela. Yeah. And um, so it's green, you know, but it's very good. But it's not mild, no. which you would expect a candela to be. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's, it's, uh, it surprises you. You know, I wish I had more detail on what Nicaraguan tobaccos they use. I would say, you know, if I was going to guess, there's got to gotta be some high priming stuff in here. Mm -hmm. And maybe there's some secco, which is giving it a little, uh, a little sweetness. And the burn. Yeah. Because Seiko the binders, I don't know what they burns use for the really binders. nice. Maybe they use Seiko for the binder, I don't know, Viso, but it's just really burning great. I hope I'm not puffing on it too often. I don't want to spoil it, you know. It's, I don't want to get it too, uh, too juicy, you know. Well, I got to tell you, Act 2 was a, uh, was a big hit. Let's see what happens when we get down to the last third. All right, we're down to Act 3, and I got to tell you, I've got... Two really nice ashes in my ashtray, and this thing is still fantastic. Yeah. It's definitely intensified. Yes. It's definitely spicier, but I'm also getting a lot more of the woodiness. Mm -hmm. How about you? Same, same, exactly. And uh, just, just like you said, it's very woody. It's, it's, uh, it's gotten even better than the last act. You think so? I'll tell you one thing, it's definitely consistent. And it has not gotten strong, you know, to the point where, like, you know, it's bitter or anything right. like that. It's still really nice and clean. Um, the finish, I, I'm, I'm still getting that pepper on the finish, though. I don't know, it seems like every cigar I smoke lately, I'm getting this pepper on the finish. I don't know if my palate is, is going or, or changing or what, but... I call this cigar a nubber. A nubber? Yeah, this would definitely be a nubber. Uh, who do you think this cigar is for? Who, who, who would you recommend I, this to? What, what yeah, level of experience or if uh, anything? Intermediate? Okay. I would say the first half of the cigar would appeal to just about anybody mm -hmm. because it's, it's mild, it's really easy going. Uh, it, it does pick up um, and, and that's where, that's why I'd say, uh, you know, mm -hmm. beginner to intermediate. Yeah. But it would be hard to, uh, you know, train a beginner smoke to retro right away. Yeah. And you're still, getting, you're still doing that, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you getting anything different in your retro now than you did before? It's, it's pretty much the same type of flavor, but more of it. I can definitely smoke another one. Yeah, you could. <laughs> I can definitely smoke another one. How many cigars do you smoke a day? Uh, I, I try to limit myself to eight. <laughs> no, that's not true. But anyway, I think we're just about uh, ready to uh, wrap it up here. It's, it's been absolutely fantastic. The Sir Robert Peel from Protocol Cigars. And this is the natural, it's the Toro. It is only made in a Toro box press size, six by 52. You can buy them at famous-smoke.com. I want to thank Kong Fam for joining me today, the amazing Kong. Thank you for having me. Uh, I really, uh, we really had a good time with the yeah. cigar and we'll see you next time on Hashtag Now Smoking. So see you then and happy smokes. <laughs>